featured fern is spiny wood fern, also known as dry up terrace expansa. Key features about this fern is that the fronds grow in clusters, so they're not solitary. They'll always be growing in a group, and they come from these large stout rhizomes below ground. At the base, you'll see these sort of membranous hairs that are sort of golden orange in color, and this is referred to as the stipe. So this is the stipe. The leaf form or the shape of the blade is quite distinctive and is triangular in shape, so I'm tracing it out with my finger here. And they're also three times pinnate. What that means is one blade is made up of three different levels of leaflets. So here's one level and it's made up of these pairs. And those pairs are also made up of a subset of leaflets. And even them within that leaflet, they're also in, divided as well. So three times pinnate. The other unique thing about spiny wood fern, and this is a big clue, is that the lower pairs of leaflets are asymmetrical in shape. So this one here is much larger than this one above. In comparison, higher up on the blade, these are all symmetrical. So you're looking for this asymmetry at the base. If you flip over the blade, you'll see beneath small little spore sacs called sori, and those sori um, are held together by a membrane called the indusium, and the, uh, they're sort of orange-brown in color. So if you're in a low to mid-elevation forest or even up to subalpine, shady environment, moist sites, you may come across spiny wood fern, also known as dry up terrace expansive.